So here problem number two, how wide is single slit that produces its first minimum for 633 nanometer light at an angle of 28 degrees. Okay, so let's write it down. So we can use this uh, single slit uh, experiment picture and a formula as well. So the given values here is uh, the lambda is given of the wavelengths. So if the wavelength, for instance, is coming here, let's say, let's say this is your, the wavelength. So the wavelength will be from peak to peak. It's your wavelength, okay? Or from minimum to minimum. So it doesn't matter, okay? Same thing. This is your wavelength. So the wavelength here uh, is given as a 633 nanometer. So in meter will be 600. Okay, so the, in meter will be 633 times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. Then the first minimum is given. So it's m is equal to 1. And then theta is given, which is 28 degrees. Theta is the angle of this one. So this one, 28 degrees. We have to find the width of the slit. So again, we have a formula where uh, d sine theta, which is the destructive interference from the single slit. This is your formula, m lambda. Okay. So from here, d is equal m lambda divided by d. So m is equal to 1, lambda is equal to 633, 10 to the power of minus 9, and d is equal, uh, sorry, the here we have to be sine theta, okay? So the sine theta is 20, so sine 28 degrees, okay?